day everyone. In this video, we will discuss about arithmetic mean. Let us define arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean is the sum of all the data and then dividing the sum by the total number of values. It is most commonly known as the average. Here is the formula for finding the arithmetic mean. We have arithmetic mean is equal to a plus b divided by 2. Take note that a and b here could be any real numbers. Let's have the first example. Find the arithmetic mean between 12 and 45. In this example, we let a be equal to 12 and b be equal to 45. Here's our solution. We copy first the formula for arithmetic mean and then substitute the values from the given. The next thing to do is to simplify this one by adding the numerator and then dividing it by the number in the denominator. So arithmetic mean is equal to 28.5. Thus, the arithmetic mean between 12 and 45 is 28.5. Let's have the next example. Insert 4 arithmetic means between 18 and 42. Here's how you're going to do that. We copy the first term, we insert the 4 arithmetic means, and then the last term. We let these 4 arithmetic means be m sub 1, m sub 2, m sub 3, and m sub 4. You will notice that the 4 arithmetic means that should be inserted between 18 and 42 are actually the terms of our sequence. So to solve for this arithmetic means, we will use the formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Let us now solve for the 4 arithmetic means that should be inserted between 18 and 48. So we let 18 be the first term. The 4 arithmetic means will be the second until the fifth term respectively. And then the last term or the sixth term is 48. Let's get the given values. We have a sub 6 is equal to 48. a sub 1 is equal to 18. And n is equal to 6 because we have 6 terms in the sequence. Our unknown value is the common difference. To get the common difference, we will use the formula in finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. And then we just have to substitute the values from the given. So we have there 48 is equal to 18 plus 6 minus 1 times d. Next step is to simplify this one. We have 48 is equal to 18 plus 5d. And then we simplify this by combining like terms. We have to transpose 18 to the left side of the equation. So we have 48 minus 18 is equal to 5d. And then simplify further, we have 30 is equal to 5d. To obtain the value of d, we just have to divide both sides by 5. There we have the value of the common difference is 30 divided by 5, that is equal to 6. So the common difference is equal to 6. Now is the time to solve for the values of the four arithmetic means between 18 and 48. So we will use the common difference, which is 6, to get the four arithmetic means. So for m sub 1, we just have to get the sum of the first term and the common difference. There we have m sub 1 is equal to 24. For m sub 2, we get the sum of m sub 1 and the common difference. So we have m sub 2 is equal to 30. For m sub 3, we get the sum of m sub 2 and the common difference. There we have the answer of m sub 3 is equal to 36. For m sub 4, we get the sum of m sub 3 and the common difference, and that would be equal to 42. So we have the values of the four arithmetic means. m sub 1 is equal to 24. m sub 2 is equal to 30. m sub 3 is equal to 36. And m sub 4 is equal to 42. Thus, the four arithmetic means between 18 and 48 are 24, 30, 36, 42, respectively. I want you to take note of this. The arithmetic means inserted is also the terms of our sequence. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.